Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! If you're new here on my YouTube channel, please click the like and subscribe button so you will be updated when I post new videos! For today's video, this will be the second part of my school performance output activity. So this is about the effects of force when applied to an object. So let's start! This is for my school performance output activity in English, science, and math. This is about the effects of force when applied to an object. First, we have two different kinds of forces called pull and push. So, every time we apply force to an object, that object moves to any directions depends on what forces you used. I'll give two examples. One time, I went to the dry market with mom to buy some groceries. I helped mom to get some groceries by pushing the cart when mom was getting the stuff out from the shelves. So, from that example, the object is the cart, and the force that I used was push. When I push that object, the object moved ahead to the direction where I was heading. Second example, every time I had taping, mom used to pack all my requirements wardrobe to wear my four wheels luggage. So one time, I helped mom with my luggage by pulling the luggage behind me. So the object here is the luggage and the force I used was pull. So when I pulled the object, the object moved after me. So that's it! Okay, so I'll just um give I'll just explain. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll explain a an actual example of this. So, what I got is my toy luggage and my toy car. So let's start with my toy luggage. Okay, so this is the object, the luggage, and I'll show you the actual example and just look what I'll do to this luggage. So as you can see, when I pulled the luggage to my left direction, the luggage moves to the direction where I pulled it. That means the effects of force that I apply that applied to the to the object, that object moves to the direction depends on what forces you used. So Let's move to the car. And it's push, right? So just look again what I'll do to this car. So as you can see, when I push the car to my left direction, the car moves to the direction where I pushed it. That means it's the same thing again that I told you a while ago. That the effects of force that applied to the object, that object will move to the direction depends on what forces you used. If you push an object, it will go away from you. When you pull an object, it will go to the direction where you are going. 
Okay, so that's it. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so that's all for today. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!